Let's move on to our fourth and final main topic here today, shall we? And our fourth and final main topic today gets submitted to us by Ryan Granger, who writes, Hey, John. Reports seem to be suggesting that the upcoming Rogue Squadron movie with Patty Jenkins has or may be delayed due to her juggling other projects such as Wonder Woman 3 and Cleopatra. Was this a Star Wars project you were hyped for given the current state of the franchise? Have you seen these reports? Would love to know your thoughts on everything. Cheers. All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yeah, listen, I'm not going to lie to you. Aside from The Acolyte, which is going to be a Disney Plus series, the most exciting Star Wars announcement to me coming out of that Disney Investor Day stream they did months ago was Patty Jenkins directing a Rogue Squadron movie. That, to me, was the big story coming out of that. That and them FX doing Shogun, because I've been dying for them to do Shogun forever. But I think that might have been my most exciting thing, aside from Shogun. Aside from Shogun. Uh, was Patty Jenkins doing a Rogue Squadron. And they even did this whole, they did this entire like sketch. Remember that from the live stream? They did this big sketch of Patty Jenkins telling the story about her, her real life story of her dad was an Air Force pilot. And then the camera pans back and it turns out she's actually on a runway and she then walks up and there's an X-Wing fighter. It was like a great way to announce this damn thing. It was great. I think Patty Jenkins is a fabulous director. Yeah, I didn't love Wonder Woman 84 either. I, I mean, like a lot of you, I didn't love Wonder Woman 84. But I like a number of her other projects, very including the first Wonder Woman and Monster, which, you know, her actress got an Academy Award for it. I think she's a great director. So I was really freaking excited about this. Really excited about it. And it was supposed to go into production soon. Like, I think it was supposed to go into production like in the net within the next four or five months, if I'm not mistaken, but now it's been postponed for one of the most classic BS excuses that studios usually give scheduling conflicts. Anyway, let's take a look at this. This comes to us from the folks at variety who write rogue squadron, the new star Wars film from Patty Jenkins will take a few detours before it reaches theaters. The film was scheduled to begin production in 2022, but that start date is not going to happen, which could also impact the film's targeted release date of December 22nd, 2023. It absolutely will change that release date. The delay is due to scheduling conflicts with Jennings. Rogue Squadron has been taken off Disney's production schedule. All right. Let's talk about this for a second. So here's the thing. One of the when a project starts to fall apart, one of the big excuses that studios will give to not talk about the actual drama is scheduling conflicts. Now, sometimes that's true. Sometimes that's true. But let's look at this for a second. Scheduling conflict? Scheduling conflict. So you're telling me. Four months ago, I, I can't even remember how long ago the Disney Investor Day thing was. I, I Maybe it was six months ago. Maybe it was four months. I, I can't remember. Let's, let's, for argument's sake, say five months ago, even though I could be completely wrong. But for argument's sake, let's say five months ago. Five months ago, when you do this whole big sketch, let, let me bring that image up again, because that image is from the sketch of her you know, on that runway, putting on the X-wing, X-Wing pilot suit, walking up to the X-Wing fighter. You're telling me, Five months ago, when you were putting together this big elaborate announcement about doing Rogue Squadron, you're telling me that Disney and you talked and they said, hey, how about uh, we start shooting this thing the beginning of 2022 and we release the film in December 22nd, 2023? Are you telling me? Are you telling me that not once... You picked up your phone and said, oh, let me look at my calendar. Really? You didn't look at your calendar? You didn't open up the old, you know, Google calendar and say, oh, turns out I have a scheduling conflict. I'm supposed to be shooting something else. No, of course not. They looked at their calendars and they said, yep, we're free. Let's do it. There was no scheduling conflict. Okay. There was no scheduling conflict. 
You had that planned and announced you're doing Star Wars Rogue One. Disney, that's what you're doing. Patty Jenkins, that's what you're doing. The whole Cleopatra thing and everything, that, that came up later, but you got it. You got it. You checked your calendar. We're going to do it. So No, I don't buy. I don't buy that it's a scheduling conflict. I think it's clearly something else behind, behind the, the curtain. Now, look, this next part of what I'm going to say is clearly only me speculating, okay? There's no factual information out there to back this up, but I'm going to give you some speculation, but this speculation is based on previous behavior and previous things that we've seen happen at Lucasfilm under Kathy Kennedy, all right? So while this is just speculation, it is nonetheless speculated or speculation that's based on prior things that have happened over there at Lucasfilm. Here's my speculation. I think there's creative differences. I think there's creative differences. And the reason why I'm speculating that and feel pretty, pretty good about that speculation is because when you look back, the number one big thing, the number one big problem that Kathy Kennedy and her leadership has represented, the number one thing that she's gotten wrong is her inability to vet her filmmakers and then sit down and talk with the filmmakers and 100% guaranteed make sure that everybody's on the same page. That the filmmakers know exactly what Kathy Kennedy expects from them, that Kathy Kennedy knows exactly what the directors are going to bring to the project. Because what have we seen? Now, not as much lately. Granted, we've seen some improvement. This happened hasn't happened as much lately. But what did we see happen like four or five times in just the first couple of years of Kathy Kennedy running Lucasfilm? Director dropping out, director dropping out, swapping out a director halfway through production. I mean, this has been a thing, right? Obviously, one of the most noble ones was Lord and Miller doing Solo. When Lord and Miller started making a movie they never agreed upon, and Kathy Kennedy fired them and brought in Ron Howard. And by the way, I still think Solo ended up being a pretty darn good movie. But it once again highlighted that Kathy Kennedy failed to make sure that her and her filmmakers were 100% on the same page before starting production on a movie or announcing that they were going to be the directors on a movie. This has happened several times at Lucasfilm. This has happened multiple times. And by the way, it's not the end of the world that people have creative differences. Individuals will have different ideas, and maybe sometimes the ideas do this, and you find out your ideas aren't compatible. That's okay. That's okay. I just wish they would figure that out before they do this big sketch of Kath, of, uh, of um, Patty Jenkins doing a big sketch on a runway with an X-Wing fighter. I just wish they would figure that out. So, yeah. I personally, when I hear this thing about it's scheduling conflicts, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Just be honest about it. Just be honest about it. Come out and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we just realize that we're wanting to make different movies from each other. We're wanting to make different movies from each other. And we're not on the same page. And that is okay. That's okay to do. I mean, it'll, it'll be frustrating for us fans but don't lie to the fans and say, oh, it's scheduling conflicts. Well, obviously it's not scheduling conflicts. I do not believe for one second that you guys were planning out this big, you know, event super film only to later realize, oh, oh we're so sorry, we double booked. Oh my goodness, we double booked. Are we ever embarrassed? We accidentally double booked. I, I, don't, I don't buy that. I don't buy that at all. But anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this whole situation that we've got here with Star Wars, with Rogue Squadron, with Kathy Kennedy, with Patty Jenkins. I don't know. Maybe you believe it. You know what? Maybe that is the case. Maybe something really fluky happened and it crossed the wires. Maybe something can't get started when they thought they were going to get started. And maybe it is legitimately just as they're saying it's scheduling conflicts. Maybe it's another instance of the fact that Kathy Kennedy and her filmmakers can't get on the same page creatively, and it's creative differences. All I know is right now, there's not a scheduled Star Wars movie to come out. That's the end result. Right now, we have no scheduled Star Wars movie coming out. We got a lot of things in the works. We got a Kevin Feige Star Wars movie in the works. We've got a Taika Waititi Star Wars movie in the works. 
But right now, there's no major Star Wars motion picture coming, as far as I know, as far as I can remember off the top of my head. And that, to me, makes me a little bit grumpy. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this whole thing? Jump on down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts.